Hello, everybody all over the world. Hello, I am the High GPS. Check out my website, highgps.no. Yes, where you can join Steegers and follow me on Twitter. So today we will look at this thing. This thing is the medieval medic. It's two items. It's the amputator and the crusader's crossbow. And of course, I am prepared as always because you can see the game is just black. Whoosh. Man, that's good timing. Good thing I'm prepared. Anyway, let's look at this. That's not the set, shit. <laughs> the set. This thing and this thing, yeah. All right, so is this thing? You shoot arrows, they heal. All right, you can't headshot. And this thing is just like the you, the regular bone saw that everybody has. Only that when you press G, the medic goes, no, 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 and everybody around you gets healed. And if you put these two together, you take one more health per second. Instead of three, you take four. So it's kind of like survival medic. So let's go right into the replay and see how uh, this works. Because generally, this strategy imposes that you will be slightly... Let's see, you got a mouse on. Yes, I forgot. Remember that. Do, do, do. Yes. So this is kind of like survival medic. Because the set in is uh, harder to deal with enemies. You don't have the syringes, which are has, you know, you're able to have like, some mistakes, miss some shots every now and then with some needles. Doesn't really matter. But with the crossbow, uh, you really just have one shot, one kill kind of thing. And they don't do that, that much damage. I mean, they do dam more damage over, over distance. So if you're like far away, it's like 100. If it's really close, it's between 40 and 50. So uh, that's that's about that. It also heals the enemy, the friends. It damages the enemy, but heals your friends. Yeah, if it healed your enemy, that would be fucking shit, wouldn't it? It's Roman Pale One Frontier here, uh, waiting for his stuff to get on. So you also notice the strategy I'm going to use with the medic, and that is I'm... Um, not really going to pay attention to what my team's shooting at because I'm mostly going to focus on healing people, looking around, checking my back, you know, for those spies that might come. And uh, if you do this as medic, you'll rarely get backstabbed and you will know where everything is, including all your teammates and all your enemies. That is the main idea with medic uh, looking around. So we'll be looking into that now. And the gates are about to open and let's go! All right, we gotta push, we gotta push. All right. Right, and for maximum effect, we go out in third person. It's not often we do, but sometimes we do that. All right, so that's us. We're gonna pay attention to what we're doing. So the heavy is taking damage. There's a little pyro out there. We don't know that. We're just moving about. Notice that I'm not standing still. I don't don't want like any sniper to get a lucky angle if I'm standing still. So now we're gonna push out, and over here is the sentry gun. All right, I have full Uber. This is the sentry gun. Sentry guns deserve to die, especially if they're on the enemy team. So let's see how we handle this. There's a sentry there, and then we uber. We run in first, like this. And as you can see, when we are in here, uh, the sentry gun aims for the closest target. It aims for me. I take all the pushback damage. The pyro and the soldier just able to run straight in and just blow it to bits. And then I switch to uber up between these two guys. And notice that I, this entire time, ran with my back facing the enemy. Just running first, because I, as I said before, do not need to see where the enemy is because that's my teammate's job. My job is to heal the enemy, the friendly team. Oh, that guy got eaten by the fucking train. Is to heal my friends and then that's it. And build Uber and get through choke points like we just did. So now we're gonna demonstrate how the, that thing works. You shoot, it goes an arrow. However, it's not like the flare gun for the pyro. You have to reload it and I think the reload time is ridiculously, uh, ridiculously slow. So you actually have to take time out of healing to actually reload uh, the gun. Um, spy, oh, it's a spy. Forgot to reload. Let's hit him with this thing. It hits fast, as fast as the regular bone saw. It's exactly the same. Same damage and everything. Only that when you press G, you heal everybody around you in a slight circle. And we'll be looking into that later. So you're trying to shoot the heavy with this. It uh, doesn't really connect as we miss. And now we're healing. Scout behind us. Have to reload. And getting one hit on the scout. Okay, let's get the scout. Let's get the scout. Do, 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 do. Come here, scout. Yes, right in the balls. Yeah, ball shot. It's a nice kill there, getting the scout. It's really hard to do. You can see that the DPS is a lot lower than with the syringe gun, and the uh, room for error is a lot less because you know you only have one shot before you have to reload. 
So, we are still attacking. We have a heavy here, cuddling with the cops, and we have to get up here. Uh, we are now fully charged, and now we've got to go into third person mode and see what happens. So we're down in the back there. There's like lots of shit up here. Alright, so we go, we go. And then we uber the heavy, and the heavy doesn't really do that much. And we run up here to just see, oh, okay, crap, sentry guns and shit up there. Seeing a pyro. Okay, we're gonna jump over there. Gotta push the car by itself because uh, if I'm not pushing, who will? Not our team, alright, jumping off the boot. Avoiding the pyro, avoiding the crit sticky like a boss. Jumping down in the back, chilling. Uh, always moving, you know, see, I, I never stop. Keep moving, this is what you wanna do. Keep uh, healing everybody. Pyro. We're still around up here. Doing the healing, doing the business. We're still pushing the cart. I can find it. Oh shit, alright. So, okay, healing that pyro. While we push, try to push the cart. Snipers with the machina. We know they're there because of the trail they leave. Giving away its positioning. I'm gonna go back and grab some more health. This is the third time we're down here. Keep in mind that we are surviving a lot better with the four health tech. You can't see that in replay because Valve thought it was not a good idea to see the health of people. And look at this. This right here is anticipated. Did you see these bombs here? Let me show you how a medic sticky jumps. Like that. You uber and then you jump on the stickies. That's what you do. So we have an uber here that we just popped. Jumped on a bunch of sticky bombs that we put them in. Detonated and we flew up in the air. Don't really have time to reload the uh, Crusader crossbow yet. So we're just going to go with our team. Is that a spy? Spy? No. Not a spy. Keep in mind, you can save a uh, medic a lot of trouble if you just, you know, shoot or do anything like that when you are playing. Because uh, then you show that you're not a spy and we don't we don't have to stop, you know, healing because a medic has... You want to constantly heal as much as possible. You want to heal everybody so the uber uh, goes uh, up as fast as possible. Because it does take 40 seconds if you heal, like, people that are constantly being damaged and not having any kind of overheal on them so you know the rate doesn't slow down so we're now going to be into the next replay which is on dust bowl a fairly good map so we're going to be using the set there and we're going to be coming in here and there's a sentry on the other side there probably in the house too let's see okay so they have like a nest on the uh right side here we're trying to push on to the left you see i'm not wearing my helmet that's me oh hello so we still haven't managed to get the point, uh, still uh, building some ubers so we can get through that choke point. Keep in mind those ubers are all super ultra important for getting through choke points, otherwise, you know, it will be stalemate-ish and you won't be able to do as well. So keep in mind, always moving, always moving. Uh, because you're always moving and checking uh, all your sides around you at all times, spies are not really that much of a problem. If you use the uber saw, that would become more like an uber feed. And now we decide to finally go in and capture the point. Alright, alright. Let's do this. Alright, let's get the point. Let's get the point. Oh shit, shit, shit. Alright. We got the point. We got the point. But uh, they have a pretty uh, solid defense here. I mean, um, if you look at this, we're like inside the house and they have like a teleporter and a heavy and everything. And uh, like, how are we ever supposed to get through this? Soldier on the high ground. So it's uh, really hard. We're, you know, we were sailing here, we popped an uber in here, but we weren't really able to, you know, do much. And now, here's how it works. We press G, we're totally immobile and vulnerable, and we heal everybody in a circle around us. And that's how it works. You should generally try to do that while in not an open area, um, where you have cover and you're absolutely sure nothing can kill you. And you should do that if you have more than two teammates that are about to die, then you use that. Uh, because, you know, you take time out of your uh, uber and it doesn't build uber using this item. So we should uh, keep in mind. So yeah, uh, they're still holding the point. The engineer uh, still whacking away at that sentry gun. And uh, how will we ever uh, get through this? Well, um, well, we can just go and you know just fucking cap the last point. Alert! Our last control point is being captured. Yeah, <laughs> that defend was good, right? That's a nice defense. Not defending their objective. What do we do? Just go around and cap it. <laughs> so I'll be uh, talking about some more about the Crusader's crossbow in this uh, replay. And that is, it's kind of hard to deal with enemies because it has low damage and it has low refire rate and, they edit and the, it's like projectile. It's kind of fast, but you know, it, you can dodge. 
So we're gonna do that. We're gonna be using the quick fix this time because our team are mostly scouts. So we're gonna capitalize on that speed and see if our scouts are able to do something with this. Other than just, you know, dying. So uh, we are here on the control point freight. Five control point map, the train's on it. So demo in the back here, shooting one shot, missing, reloading, trying to shoot another shot, missing, reloading. Shooting another shot, missing, reloading. You can see that it's kind of hard to hit this guy. Okay, finally one arrow uh, landed. Missing, all right, let's try and heal this pyro before he dies. Fuck, okay, hit the, the pyro, the, the demo again. Gotta fall back in. Oh shit, there's a scout there. Uh, I'm not able to do anything. So, uh, yeah. That is some broken software, but yeah, that is hard to deal with that sort of thing. Uh, you can just see just just because of the angles and stuff. It's really it's like kind of like Huntsman sort of, only that it does less damage. You can't headshot and you die to scouts even faster because you don't do the necessary DPS. And the margin for error is so low with this thing. I mean, either you hit or you don't. Same with syringes, but then you have like 40 tries before you have to reload. Here you have one. Um, and you do a lot more damage with the syringes too. And they travel in arcs, they say. I'm not sure what an arc is, but I think it's what Noah had. Just waiting for the replay to load. So uh, next I'll be talking about is called like I guess called not really APM, but like movement speed, how fast you like turn around and look around as a medic. Because if you do that a lot, if you do that fast and turn around like, um, it's not uh, that easy to get killed by spies anymore because you you will see everything coming. Uh, including enemies and spies and because you know where like your teammates are uh, they won't catch you by surprise because you're like oh that is fucking you know not my friend because I just healed that guy and he died so we're on uh, the payload of swift water or something like that some version of that so we're just waiting for the gates to open and we're gonna show you the high APM thing actions per minute thing so just uh, by twitching your mouse back and forth like this, you're able to get a wider field of view. You'll be able to see in the corners and stuff. You see a demon over here trying hitting him once with this thing. A medic almost dead, popping the Uber on him, and another medic does the same. We're like, fuck that, Uber sniper. All right, we got to push this cart. And then doing something that I don't see a lot of medics do, and that is if you have Uber, you just pop the Uber, and suddenly you don't have to Uber people anymore, but you do have to cap the point. What you should do is just, you know, switch to another weapon and uh, disable the Uber while you still have it and then cap it faster. This is what I mean. It kind of, you can kind of become dizzy just looking around like this, but uh, doing this and you know, looking, checking your back all the time, running around, never standing still, being completely unpredictable. One, you won't get quick scope by snipers. They actually have some, take some time to figure out your pattern if you even have one. And second of all, uh, you can spot everything in uh, 360 degrees because keep in mind as a medic you do not need to pay that much attention to what your teammates are shooting at you know i mean you do not need to see like a soldier shoot rockets at a heavy or a heavy take down a sentry gun you just need to know it's like there's people around the corner and you don't have to go there so also healing everybody builds uber faster allowing you to push through faster through choke points let me know if you get dizzy <laughs> You know, as I turn motion blur off, because uh, using this strategy, like really fast turning around, I don't have really high sense or anything. I just move really fast because that's how I medic. Um, if you use motion blur, you're not able to pick up that much. Just by twitching like that, I would see that heavy coming. I uh, managed to get him up. When it comes to priority to healing people, try to heal the ones that's taking damage in the front first, and then heal the guys in the back. Keep in mind, heal everybody, because then everybody will take a liking to you as a medic and they won't abandon you to die. Nothing is more annoying than a medic that only heals one guy and you're like, next time I'll fire, and you're like, medic, 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 and he just uh, looks at you and then you burn to death, and then you join the other team and kill him. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I do. So we just popped another Uber to a scout, uh, and we are pushing with the cart here. Notice I haven't been killed by a single spy, even though the enemy has one. Um, he's not doing too well, because, uh, well, uh, Teams are kind of stacked, and there's the spy. I helped myself get an assist on the heavy I was healing. Uh, looking for him, maybe he ran over here. No, nope. all right, gonna reload. Oh, there is shooting another bow, but missing, and then getting uh, killed by mm, something. Something killed us. So that's the kind of idea with the medic. Not necessarily, you know, the set that we we're doing on, but uh, mostly just, you know, look around as a medic. Get the good idea where everything is. 
That's why I encourage, like, if you want to be good at a class, always play Medic and that class, because Medic allows you to gain the, you know, 360 degree, you know, surround sound awareness of the map that you normally don't get, you know, if you're a sniper and you're Razorback, uh, you're probably the most deaf player on the field because you never check your back for spies. I mean, you should never use the Razorback and always check for spies, you know. Counter to spies just turning around. He can't hurt you if you see him from the front. It's a whole deal about that. So, well, the next replay loads. Just, okay, thanks, chat, for confirming that it was a sniper that killed me in the last replay. Fucking snipers. <laughs> Standing far away. So we're gonna be looking at some usage of the Crusader's crossbow. And now we're on defense on the payload uh, frontier, is it? Yeah, something like that. So we're on the red team, we're healing. Pushing the, the cart. Not pushing the cart, but protecting the cart from being pushed. So we have some snipers down there. We have our heavy doing damage on the top. Being on the high ground, which is good, allows us to move around freely, decide when we want to take damage and do damage, and oh shit, there's a pyro behind me. Alright, shooting into the demo man, saving him from being burnt to death, because keep in mind, it does heal about 50 when you hit him. And that is slightly faster uh, than if you just, you know, heal him immediately. So, you can actually save a lot of people by just, you know, switching for that and shoot him right before you heal him, because then you give them, like, this 50 health, health pack kind of boost thing. It's really useful, and it's kind of hard to pull off, especially if they're not standing still. Just keep in mind, it does heal more if it travels a further distance, but, you know, that requires your teammates, you know, know that you're shooting at them and not just, you know, move. So now we pop the Uber with the soldier here, uh, defending with a, a Demo Knight uh, that doesn't have any bombs. And uh, then we're gonna die to this uh, Pyro here because our team, you know, doesn't really defend that well. So that was that. And also, uh... Keeping in mind with this uh, amputator, it's the same as the bone saw. You're, you swing a lot faster than you do with the, the uber saw. You swing normal speed, which is pretty fast. So you can, with the combined with the medic uh, speed, you can do a lot of damage with that. Uh, keep in mind as a medic, don't be completely helpless, even though you use this set, because you have to uh, do damage sometimes just to defend yourself. Because often uh, the, the people on your team will be able to almost kill a guy before they have to reload. And then they have, the other me has like, you know, between 30 and 10 health left. And then this anything will kill him. So just, you know, if you're just giving a little swat or a little shot with the arrow, that's usually enough to finish him off. And that's what makes the difference between an, uh, an average medic and a, and a good medic. So just looking at the spy, he face, tries to face that up, but it doesn't work. We stab him in the face with the amputator. This other medic says, fuck healing anybody, and just runs off and dies. Um, he's still alive, though, I think. Then he died, yeah. So we're just shooting at the distance here, trying to heal him, but uh, it was in vain because he was suicidal. So there we go, alright, there's a spy down there, there's a soldier on the high ground, gotta fall back. Keep in mind, as a medic, you do have dibs on all the health kits, and uh, then, alright, shit, alright, popping another uber, switching it between uh, Pyro and a demo man, and a soldier with crits pops down, but crits is to counter to nothing uh, but the uber. <laughs> So then we just gotta kill him with the uh, Uber saw, no problem there. Keep in mind that Uber do counter regular crits, so that's what I tried to say, but he got reversed, and then we get abandoned by our team and killed by a scout because they're like, oh yeah, you like you save save us and you like kill that soldier, I guess I'll leave you to die now. While I go and uh, go Shagaroon back in the base. <laughs> It's funny to me! Yes, so we will be looking at another heal arrow example here, and we'll be looking at a nice one. Which is good as the medic. Uh, normally, uh, you when you use the set, you normally want to run with the crossbow in case you encountered some people that's on low health when you meet them. Uh, other than that, always run with the medic on healing somebody. Do not only heal with the crossbow because it heals so slow compared to this and you don't get uber or anything. So we're just uh, jumping around here. As you can see, this is us. There's a sentry on top there that gets taken down. Yeah, there he goes. Where do we go? Yeah, we're like in the back here, chilling, healing the sniper with the range. Back. 
doing all right, doing all right. The uh, sniper goes down to Pyro because he doesn't have Jurati, so he can't, you know, help himself or use the SMG and deal with people close by. He has the Razorback that protects him against one backstab and one backstab only. There's some people jumping around on the back here, see if we can heal them. Uh, getting stuck in the wall because walls are enemies of the medic. <laughs> Not really, because walls are awesome. Take uh, cover. Right, so, whoa, we got shot out here. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, fall back, fall back. We have another medic here. There's a dumb man spending bombs everywhere. Oh, shit, we're just surviving the best we can. Holy shit. Alright, popping the Uber, popping the Uber. Okay, is anything out here? Is anything out here? Yeah, they have a mini center gun. Let's see if we can do some cleanup. You notice I'm not paying attention to what this heavy is doing. I'm just paying attention to where he is. And then he's like, alright, he's gonna go there. Okay, let's go here, here, here. Do, 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 do. Not standing still a second. And now we have us picking up, picking up this thing. And bam, shooting a heal arrow right to this pyro over there. But you couldn't see it because we don't have a HUD. And thank you, Al, for not being able to show off that awesomeness. Because that pyro was almost dead and that arrow saved his life. But I haven't had time to reload my Crusader's Crossbow. I really think they should, you know, make it reload when you're not holding it because it's really bad right now compared to this range gun in terms of usefulness. And now the heavy runs out of bullets and it takes him about two seconds to figure out. And now we're kind of screwed, so, um, yeah, we're dead. Da, 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 da. That did not go too well, but that uh, was a nice heal arrow, so we were credit team. Keep in mind, we can still kill people with this. And kill people with this, no problem, if they're almost dead to begin with. That's the thing about Medic. If you're getting kills as Medic, they have to be, like, limping along and almost dead before uh, the little damage you do will be worth it. So, we're just gonna be looking at some people here before we start. Yes, okay, we're ready to go, ready to go. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna shoot an arrow. Bam. And we got to kill on this pyro. Oh, what'd you feel about that pyro? Oh, did you get killed by magic from far away? Yeah, I think you did. Felt good. You <laughs> probably had like one health. Something like that. I'm gonna heal everybody looking around, and the spy gets a stab at everybody but me. Takes a while to die to reload. Healing this medic with the press hat and uh, running around. And this medic decides, fuck, I'm not healing you. I want you to die. <laughs> uh, medic. My dick. I healed you and saved your life. What did you do? You tried to kill the enemy and then let you let me die. So uh, we're we'll looking at another uh, example of using the G taunt because uh, it's not often it's used. Very rarely, like I said, if you have two or more uh, friends on your team that's about to die, like burned to death or getting blown up, or there's like a million bajillion people that you can't heal all at once, just use it once because you do want to build that Uber. Using it excessively uh, is not good and not beneficial. So we're going to be standing around in this choke here with a bunch of demos and our team is looking pretty good. We have a lot of power classes, a lot of soldiers, some demos and a couple of heavies. Also have some engineers so that's not building teleporters, but that's cool, that's fine. So we're going to be trying to push out. Uh, notice that I'm always moving still. Uh, not checking my back this much because I have teammates and I, you know, want to think that my teammates, you know, if there's a spy they will kill it. I always assume that. This is what I mean. A lot of people on fire. And then we bring this thing out, and then we just go, a little playing music for you, yes? And then we heal everybody in a us in a circle, and then we're back to business doing this again. So that's uh, one example on when to use it. Uh, it's totally up to you when you want to decide, but if you want to be as efficient as possible, try not to use it unless you absolutely have to. Because that Uber is a lot better and, you know, you don't get overhealed from using the amputator, but you do with the regular Uber. And now we pop Uber and we're gonna attack. And notice that I'm not paying attention to where any enemy is. I'm just looking at the wall where I can run and switching it between people, focusing my attention to my teammates and not the enemy. And where does this lead us? It leads us to victory is where it leads us. Yeah, cool. So that was using the G-Ton. Uh, no problem there. Let's see. We're gonna have another example of proper heal arrow because it does damage and it heals. Good. I wish it would give like something contagious to the enemy, like in the regular Team Fortress Classic, where it would be like contagious and uncurable unless you had another medic. That'd be cool. And one guy runs back to the spawn, and, like infects everybody, and then everybody rage, and you get like a million bajillion kills because uh, that the uh, anthrax is so awesome. So we're gonna run around here. We are now on payload something called Gold Rush. Yeah. 
this soldier using the Liberty Launcher. He's gonna drop down and run right into a pyro. And look at this! Look at this! He's out of healing range. Bam! Heal arrow right to that guy. Then we give him some heal afterwards. Because he was almost dead and he healed him like 50, so that was worth it. Then we're gonna take the time to reload, shoot over, see if we can hit somebody. What more fun than to get a random crit and then kill like a heavy or a medic or something? It's like just like 149 damage. We only get a crit on um, the arrow. And a crit. Uh, do not uh, advise medics using crits because you got a medic with the bow. <laughs> Highly advised demo heavy or uh, soldier, and then we get pinned to the wall by some sniper asshole with the bow. Yes. So that was a, another example of using that. You don't really want to run out there and be a target. You just want to stay in the back and heal. Uh, you can do that from different, different uh, stuff. But there's some classes you can take out, no problem, as a medic with this set, and that is. Uh, spies, snipers, engineers, those three, and other medics. Those four you can do quite well against, but any other class you can just fucking run and run. Keep in mind you do heal four instead of three, so it's more focused on survival and not being, you know, switching and doing as much damage. So we're just gonna run out first because our team's a bunch of cowards, gonna shoot an arrow in the face to that sniper, uh, not killing him, heavy, and medic behind us. My friend the medic pops the uber and we run back. Let's go some sniper hunting. All right, getting one arrow. All right, do, 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 reloading, checking around the corner, landing another arrow, and then whacking me in the face with the amputator before reloading. And like, yes, we can do this. We can take on the world. Yeah. All right. Oh, scout, you went over there. Okay. Shoot. Sure, okay. Like, okay. I do some head damage to the heavy. All right. Shooting another arrow. All right. Falling back. Yes, we can do this. We can do this. Holy shit! The soldier. All right. All right. I can do this. I can do this. Just, just gotta be cool and take a rocket to the face. That didn't go well. Huh. <laughs> that was kind of disastrous now, wasn't it? Seeing people in chat saying that you can kill scouts well. Yeah, but keep in mind, scouts are fucking fast as hell. Uh, let's see here. What? I thought I had a take. Where did my take go? Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll, I'll just fast forward. No problem. So we're still on the map. I'm going to show you something that's cool. Uh, it's related to the amputator and your strategy when running away. Because this replay is fucking long. So we're just going to run up here. Da, 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 Don't pay attention to this because this is not important right here. We're just running around healing, running around healing. And okay. Uh, now Team Fortress 2 crashed because apparently fast forwarding that fast is kind of lethal. Oh boy, was that stupid. <sighs> I was gonna prepare again. It's like, sorry, bro. Wow, that was stupid. Shit. Wait, restart. I think I'm gonna fast forward a different way this time so it doesn't crash. <sighs> Fucking two fortress. It's like, oh, oh you wanna fast? <laughs> oh, you wanna fast forward? <laughs> nope. Let's see it again. Loading right now. So yeah, uh, Steam Group, you can join. Call High GPS. Check out HighGPS.no. You know that website? No, that's the address. Dot no. We're also gonna have some game servers coming up soon. I'm doing some testing right now, so we'll be able to have some events and stuff. And there's also contests, and you can win hats and shit in Team Fortress too. I just haven't figured out how I want to do it yet. So let's uh, fast forward differently this time. See, do I have? Yes, I have everything. So we're just gonna fast forward insanely fast. Do, 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 and pray to God this doesn't crash, because man, that would suck. If that happened. So everybody just runs around sounding like chipmunks. Uh, we're healing people and running really fast. It's kind of hard to feel it, see what we're doing. So we're just healing more people looking around. Do, 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 do. So. Just healing, 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 healing it heavy. Alright, this is good, this is good. We can reset here. Now we're gonna be healing with uh, the heavy and the rest of the team while we, you know, push. We have an Uber here, ready to go. We have a scout behind here. And let's pop that Uber and let's see how we handle this. We're running f back first while we uh, let the heavy yeah, run up to the demo. And keep in mind there's always two invulnerable, not just one. One that is damaged and one that is just there. It could be annoying. So you see, we always keep, you know, a, a good distance between us and the healing target because when we're over here, we won't get sniped by you know, snipers that's over here and over here and stuff like that. It's no problem. And you see, we're always moving in case, you know, that sniper 
tries to hit us, won't get that lucky kill. Jumping on the high ground to heal, but doesn't really work. Fire a crossbow, and there comes a scout. All right, this is what I mean. This scout is gonna get us, right? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just kind of run in here, and now the scout thinks that we're like in the back, which we are. But then we're gonna run out and fucking kick him in the face. Bam! Yes. And that was what I wanted to show. With that, yeah. So that means just when you go around corners, try to, uh, what I do sometimes is that if I think I can take the guys that's chasing me, just immediately turn around the corner. Because what they'll expect is that you'll run away, but actually they will just, you know, uh, run into you when uh, they least expect it. shit. This I had a safe takeoff. This I had a safe takeoff, but I can't, can't, it says cancel, but I can't cancel because when it's loading for some fuck this. Uh, okay, let's see. There we go. So I'm, I'm going to show you a really good example of when syringes would be better than the crossbow. Is uh, what I'm going to show right now. So we are on foundry on the last point here. And now we bring out the, this thing. And there's a pirate chasing us. Alright, there's one arrow we shot and missed. Second arrow we shot and missed. Third arrow we shot and missed. And uh, then we heal this guy. And uh, during this time, if we had the syringes, we could like alter our our um, our play. Uh, no, I mean your aim, and you would be able to kill the pyro because if you know a py if a pyro is chasing you and you're barely outside his flamethrower range with the syringes, you can actually pick him off quite easily as a medic if he doesn't get heal or doesn't have his entire team with him. That's the idea with that, but that's really hard to do with the crossbow, as you just saw. So yeah, that was that example. Gonna take the time to reload. And uh, we're not gonna watch the rest of this because nothing fucking interesting happened. So that was what I wanted to show with that. Uh, <laughs> this, this next one is kind of a troll for uh, when you have a team medic and he just trolls you. It's no fun when he like, kills you like that. Ugh. It is uh, no fun at all, my dear friends. So what you can, what I've seen some people do is like they can, like they use the crossbow so much they can actually, you know, heal soldiers in the air as they're jumping away from them. Uh, I personally prefer the syringe gun because I like to be able to defend myself against pyros and, uh, and scouts for the most part. But if you use this full time and you just try to be experimental and you just use it, you know, try to do hard stuff, um, you'll be able to be pick, get some really cool heal shots off and kill shots as well. So now we're gonna, you know, attack here with the team, uh, not really focusing on how many enemies there are, because that's not really my problem. My problem is that my teammates are dying. That's what I'm gonna be focusing on. So we're just gonna be healing everybody, bring around, uh, building Uber as fast as we can. Uh, keep in mind, I cannot heal the entire team at once unless I use the, you know, the, the G-ton. But if you use the G-ton here, you're gonna die like super fast because you're standing still and you're basically a target that says, "Hey, shoot me." I'm a medic and I'm a free kill. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So now we pop the Uber. And we're doing a push here. Switching the Uber back and forth. Want to share the wealth. There's the other medic. We're just like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, there's an engineer there. Oh yes, use the empty Yes, we got him. Alright, alright, medic. Heal me. Medic, I'm healing you. You should, you should heal me. And then the medic's like, fuck you, bro. I'm gonna kill the scout. Perhaps get killed by this soldier? Something like that? Oh, what a medic douche. Medic always heal other medics. So, this is gonna be our last replay for this uh, Crusader crossbow medieval medic set thing. Hopefully you got a better idea of how to use this set. It's more of a survival set, because keep in mind, medics are masters of survival, after all. Not, you know, killing machines. So uh, we're still on Foundry, and uh, we're going to be healing the soldier with the Liberty Launcher. And he is not going to rocket jump because he doesn't watch this show. Keep in mind, as a soldier, you always, always, always want to rocket jump because your effectiveness and damage output and all that stuff really am like is totally dependent on how well you move around. And rocket jumps are used to get to the front faster and relocate and get to high grounds and all that kind of shit. And if you don't do it well, then you s are screwed. <laughs> So try to get the, the uh, healing arrow on the soldier, doesn't quite pick it off because, uh, you know, it comes with experience where you think your teammates are gonna run. 
And then we're gonna pay attention to our team, and look at that. Like, I don't, I'm not even interested in what's down this hall, I just wanna heal my teammates, build Uber, and then use the Uber, and then win. At least what I wanna do. And notice I'm not checking my back, and why am I not checking my back? Well, because we have this soldier right here, he's checking my back for me, it's called teamwork. Ah, good, look it up! Yeah, teamwork, awesome. So trust in your team, always do that, uh, always do your part as a team. If you're not sure what to do, just be like, what should I be doing? And if you're not sure, just ask your team, like, hey, what do we need to do? And if they say just, just kill the enemy, then you just go, fuck that, I want to do the objective. And then they go, the objective is behind the enemy! And then, you go, yeah, alright, so we're gonna Uber, and I'm not even paying attention to what's behind me, you see this? I'm like, I'm literally just like, fuck everything that's behind me, I don't even care. I just look at my teammates, make sure they're all fully healthy, sharing the Uber. And then when it runs out, I just run behind this uh, container right here. And then, by doing this, we have successfully cleaned this up with our team, and we're gonna cap this point, I think. Let's see, where am I? Dead. Alright, in case you missed that, <laughs> which I just did, that was probably the most fail thing you'll ever see in your entire career by watching this show, which is just this episode, so it's not a very long career. So, here we are, right? That's us. Yeah, cool. So we just finished healing everybody and there's a center in the corner! I'm gonna take it out with my amputator! Note to self! Amputator! Not very good against fucking... Fucking sentry guns, because they just kill you. Anyway, that was the medic survival set. Good stuff about that. So, um... Yeah, that's gonna conclude that. This this set right here the two things so yeah uh next week is gonna be about the piss sniper you know the polycon set the where he can't be headshotted and you can't well it can't die from headshot but you can't headshot either it's using the piss shooter the sydney sleeper the darwin danger shield and the bushwhacker and we're gonna be doing that i'm not looking forward to that because oh i hate that set so yeah um check out high gps dot no do that everything's there group twitter archive everything Check that out, and thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.